If you own a house, then chances are at some point you're going to need to install some trim molding. And that can be an intimidating job for many because it involves precise marking, measuring, and transferring those measurements to your work pieces. Those are all opportunities for error. Today we're going to take a look at this little jig that makes the process of installing trim molding nearly foolproof. This is the Rockler trim gauge. In a nutshell, this jig makes it easy to install trim around your windows, doors, and even base moldings. And it works equally well with mitered as well as butt jointed trim. The three key things this jig makes easier for you are, first, sets you up to mark a perfect 3 16 inch reveal around your window or door jam. Second, it temporarily attaches to the jam so the end of your tape perfectly aligns with that reveal line. And third, it securely holds the end of your tape measure, which is especially helpful on long windows. But the best way to see how this jig works is to see it in action. So let's take a field trip to where Nick is waiting to demonstrate how it works. Take it away, Nick. Hi, I'm here today to show you how to use the Rockler trim gauge. Like Dan said earlier, this simple little jig makes it easier to install trim around your windows, doors, and even base moldings. Today I'll show you how to install mitered trim on this window. Most of these techniques are going to work great with other casing installation applications as well. Let's get started. First, we need to understand how we're going to position our jig on the corner through the install. The inside corner of this triangle will always point to the corner we are working on. So if I'm working in this top left corner, it will point into that corner like this or like this, depending on how I'm marking. And if I'm working in this bottom right corner, it will point into that corner like this or like this. Now that we've covered the orientation of our jig, let's get started with our install. I'll first mark intersecting reveal lines in all four corners of the window jam. I butt the gauge shoulder against the edge to create a perfect 3 16 reveal to mark. In each corner, mark one jam and then flip the gauge to mark the other. Next, I set up to measure for my first piece of casing. I press the gauge tightly into one corner. Then I temporarily attach the gauge to the jam by tacking two finish nails into the mounting holes in the gauge. Don't drive the nails all the way and don't worry about the holes. The trim molding will cover them. Next, I insert my tape measures hook in the slot in the gauge and pull the tape to measure the distance to the opposite reveal line. Record all measurements on a notepad. I repeat this process for all horizontal and vertical trim pieces. Notice that the slots perfectly align with my reveal marks and the built-in magnets help keep the tape from falling out of the gauge. Then I set the miter saw to 45 degrees and cut the first ends on each piece, making sure to cut so that the miter angles in towards the window. Next, I slide the mitered end of one of the pieces onto the marked clamping zone of the gauge and up against the 45 degree fence on the gauge. I securely clamp the trim to the gauge, making sure that it won't shift. Then I fit the hook of the tape measure into the slot on the gauge. Next, I measure and mark the length of the first piece of trim. I also make an angled line in the direction I need to cut the miter to make sure I cut the miter in the correct direction. I recommend that you double or even triple check the angle of your saw. Take it from me, you don't want to cut the wrong angle. Now I'm ready to cut the second miter. If you're new to installing trim, I recommend that you pause and check the fit of your first piece just to make sure that you've transferred your measurements correctly. So I've cut my first piece and let's test it out and see if it fits. That looks great. I nailed the inside edge of the casing to the jam with 1 inch 18 gauge brad nails and the outside edge to the wall framing with 2 and a quarter 18 or 15 gauge nails. Install the other pieces of trim in the same manner, making sure that the miters are tight in all corners. The order you install your trim is up to you. Some finished carpenters install both long or both short pieces first and then the others. Other carpenters work their way around in a circular pattern. There are pros and cons to each. I just installed this mitered trim, but the trim gauge works just as well for butt joint trim that is often used today. If you're installing butt joint trim, you still mark the reveals. 
but you would only use the gauge to measure the side pieces that fit between the top and bottom trim. The top and bottom are cut longer, depending on how much overhang you want. And there you have it, a fast and easy method to install trim. I hope this jig gives you the confidence to try it yourself. And now let's head back to Dan in the shop. Thanks, Nick. As always, you made it look easy. And it really is pretty easy because the trim gauge eliminates so much marking and transferring of those marks. Now we just showed it on a window, but you can also use it to install door casing. The main difference with door casing is there's no bottom piece of trim on the doors. You still mark the reveals on the top corners, but you'll measure all the way to the floor or top of the plinth block. The instructions also demonstrate how you can use the trim gauge to install baseboard. And like Nick said, we hope you learned a lot during this demonstration about installing trim molding and that it will give you the confidence to do it yourself. I'm Dan Carey with Rockler and Woodworkers Journal. Thanks for watching.